Solo training. Um, the majority of the world is on lockdown. Most of us are have, have put ourselves into isolation. Um, you know, obviously, if it's not vitally, vitally important, don't go out the house. Uh, remember to wash your hands. It's a shame that we're at a point where you needed a government health warning to remind you to wash your hands, but there we are. You know, stay in for the next two weeks. Use your time productively. So, although you won't be able to get to your dojo or your gym, you can still do little things, such as push-ups, crunches, squats. Um, there are variations on all of those exercises that a quick Google search will give you, you know, Chinese push-ups, Hindu squats. Work on your flexibility, work on stretching. You know, you can't get to the dojo for an hour session once or twice a week. Spend that hour, you know, in a, in a, in a room away from the rest of your family. Working on your stretching, get into some DDPY, the yoga that, uh, I'll, I'll link all this stuff underneath. The yoga that a lot of people remember, Arthur, um, Arthur Borman, I think his name was, the guy who was on crutches and he couldn't walk properly, and then he's, you know, with it, he lost 10 stone in 10 months just doing this particular type of, of yoga. You can do that in your house. You know, you can practice your wrestler's bridges. If you can't do a wrestler's bridge, then just do them up onto your shoulders, but everything, baby steps to increase your flexibility. You can practice your shrimping. You know, um, you can, as, as a boxer will shadow box with an imaginary opponent, you can do that with your grappling. You can work on your footwork. You know, if you're, if you're into judo, you can work on shuffling your feet quickly and scooting your feet quickly into position to go for a throw or a trip or a sweep. Uh, one of the big things that, that we don't really have any excuses not to do is solo pad training. So if you don't have a punch bag, and you obviously you can't invite friends over to hold pads for you. If we take off this being the fence, and if we take my lead hand being actually making contact with the bad guy, so to speak, anything from here to here is the shot. So I'll link um, a Lee Morrison clip under this. Lee Morrison, uh, Urban Combatives, doing it. You get your pad. You hold it at a distance. And then you practice going in. And you do this and you can walk around the room and you know, throw kicks and maybe throw some elbows. I'll link the uh, Lee Morrison Urban Combatives video, obviously, at the bottom. Um, you know, just because we're stuck inside doesn't mean we can't train, doesn't mean we've got to let everything go to seed. Um, if you completely disagree with everything I've said, if you do agree with what I've said, either way, leave a comment, let me know. It's all about interaction. Um, especially now at this point where maybe some of us might be feeling like we're completely cut off from the world if you know, if you live alone and you're in isolation you can feel you know maybe maybe the cabin fever setting and maybe you feel like you're completely alone it's not the same as being in a room with somebody but reach out get in touch with people on the forums that's another great way of, of keeping you, uh, yourself in training get on forums and ask questions if you've always had a problem with a certain maneuver now is the time to get on a forum and say, guys, I'm having difficulty with this. What can I do once I get back in? We want to help each other. That's that's the nature of human beings. So if you ask, people will usually give you an answer. They will usually link you to, to, to footage of the same problem being solved. So keep training. And there's no need. There's no, there's no reason to not keep training. Um, any questions, comments, queries, or suggestions, pop them in the box. If there's anything you'd like me to go over, pop them in the box. If there's anything you'd like me to go into more detail about, pop it in the box. Um, if you've got anything at all, pop it in the box. That's going to go on a t-shirt. Uh, until next time, train hard, train smart, stay safe.